Okay, so this is a video that I'm just doing. Uh, where what I'm going to be doing is just showing you the uh, ASound RC file that I'm using in order to achieve um, basically what I was trying to do, which is to have it so that the sounds that I record from the system end up going into the microphone. Um, because obviously one way to do this is with pulse audio, but because we you know sometimes pulse audio is a bit of a pig and there are so many versions of it that you know they're always leaving bugs behind in the old versions. So with A sound, or sorry, Alsa sound, it's actually in the kernel. So all it is is the kernel uh, library, and then the, the libraries read the configuration file, which is this A sound RC, and then the application. Then so the application loads the library. The library reads this config file, and then any sound the application sends is routed through the library straight to the kernel. So you don't even need any kind of daemon running, doesn't have to have sockets open. And what that does is that helps to keep the latency low. And as you've noticed, I've also got this little uh, waveform thing. And this is actually with courtesy of FFmpeg. So what it allows me to do is that when I'm recording audio, I, I get to see that the microphone's working. But here's the thing that I was trying to achieve, is that to actually have this showing the output of the microphone but also the output of anything I play. So I'm just going to play this um, video. And so you notice it's, um, well, it's quite big. So uh, let me just get this right. Yeah, I'll just have to cut the side off a little bit. So if we look at the, so I'm going to play it. And if you watch this, um, this is basically the output of the, um, the microphone effectively. Or, so, or the, the mix of the micro, microphone system sounds. Yeah, so as you can see, that's very loud. And it's reflected in here as well. So obviously I'm going to be running the compressor on this to try and sort of even things out. Um, but as you can see, it's... Uh, well, what this basically shows is that it's working, so I can... And you can see the way it's actually showing up here. So, anyway, enough of that, because it's using up my disk space. So, what I, um, basically, this is the asound.rc configuration file, and the... It's, it's got some of the usual stuff, well, sort of at the top. But if you actually scroll down here, there's actually quite a bit in here. And I'm going to try to quickly explain what's going on, if, if I can. So what we have is you have the hardware cards. So we've got card 0 and card 2. So 0 is the main sound card. And card 2 is um, the microphone that I'm using. And so we have the D, well, D mix is for the out sound going out. So, so the sound that goes out um, goes into the, um, the sound card, which is hardware zero. But then we also have this, um, uh, where is it quickly? Yeah, this multi, where what it does is uh, this multi, the sound um, comes, let, let me start from the top. So we got, um, the default audio, and it goes to ASIM zero. So then ASIM zero. Yeah, I think it's above. Yes, yeah, so we have um, ASIM zero, and this is both in and out. So playback goes to multi, and capture goes to multi snoop. So for playback, go going to multi. If we go to multi, which is here, it then takes that audio going out and sends it to this loop which is demixer loop and to the demix so what demix does is it yeah so demix sends the audio out to the hardware but then the multi also sends a copy of the audio out to demixer loop and so demixer loop um yeah, demixer loop, what it does is it takes in the audio 
And because both of them are DMICs, you can have multiple applications writing to them, and it sends it to the uh, loopback um, kernel driver. So then the loopback 00 takes the sound. So we go down here. So it's so 00 takes the sound in and sends it out to hardware loopback 110. So now the um so the so now we're going to follow the sound going in so we got hardware loopback zero so, sorry one zero takes the sound from the applications and sends it back out sorry takes it from zero zero takes the sound in and sends it back out to one zero so now if we attach one zero to let's find it yeah so one zero gets attached to d snooper loop which is actually a um uh, recording so it takes sound in so it takes the sound in from the hardware loopback one zero which is coming from the system and then do snooper loop is attached to another multi uh, which is multi snoop so basically d snooper loop so that's coming the sound coming from the system and then d snoop zero um let's see if you can find that Yeah, so D snoop zero is the audio coming from the um, uh, from the sound card, but then the sound from the microphone is D snoop two. So let me. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so it's not. Uh, it's not. Um, yeah, multi. Yeah, sorry, that was the wrong one. So it's not multi snoop. It's actually multi snoop two. Because D Snoop 2 is taking sound from the microphone, the USB microphone, and D Snoop Loop is taking audio from the loopback, which comes from the system sound, and, and it's being mixed into Multi Snoop 2. And so Multi Snoop 2 then is attached to, um, is a slave for USB audio because multi, cause the USB audio is only a microphone, um, so there's no output. So multi snoop two goes into the USB audio, and then when I'm recording uh, with FFmpeg, which I'm using this screen capture with, it's actually um, is pulling from USB audio. So USB audio pulls the sound from any system sounds that are playing, and also, and and I suppose just to show um, that it does mix properly. So if I do and. Um, yeah, I think for some reason, oh, I think I know what this is. I think it doesn't work. So let, let me see if I can quickly do this before I run out of space. Um, right, so if you play this. See how they were both mixed, and of course I was trying to talk over them, but the sound is so loud that my voice wouldn't have come in. So, so this shows you that the hardware sound is being mixed by the hardware uh, incoming, and it's then be then the two hardware streams. Are, sorry, the two streams are then being mixed by the D snoop. Uh, so, no, sorry, the D mix is mixing the two streams, sending it into the multi. Sorry, through the loop back into the multi. And then the D snoop is picking up the um, that stream and also my microphone, and then sending it out to the USB audio, which is being recorded by FFmpeg. Yeah, see, so oops, oh, I went and quit the FFmpeg, but in, so, sorry, the microphone FFmpeg. Um, but I suppose what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the mess. So it's this. This is how. This is yeah. This is the command I use to filter, send it into the filter to show waves, and it's being played by OpenGL. 
So if I run that, so you see the, the screen's back. And, well, it looks as if I haven't filled up the hard disk, which is good. So hopefully this can be of, some in, of use to some people out there, even if it might be just one or two. And um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll attach this asound.conf um, onto, the, onto the article on my website. And the important thing is don't just copy this asound.conf straight into your one because it'll most likely destroy your sound setup. And if you're running Pulse Audio, then this is definitely not going to work. So you have to be straight ALSA through ALSA Lib and the kernel. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video can be of use to some people out there.